Greetings! Nexus from Viverniax here with a new ARC video tutorial. This time we will be looking into the fun activity of coloring using dyes. Dyes are awesome way to personalize your own clothing, the weapons, items, structures and even dinos and players. Dyes can be crafted in the cooking pot or more efficiently in the industrial cooker so I guess uh, cooking them is more precise term. There are 25 different colors to choose from and each has a specific recipe. If you are using the S plus mode you can see them when you open the cooking pot. The main components are water and some kind of berries. Next you may also have to add another thing like the charcoal, spark powder or gunpowder. With the S+, Plus, you can switch the auto crafting on or off. For standard version, the dyes will be cooked automatically whenever the fire is on and the required resources are present. Industrial cooker has the same function as the cooking pot, but using it is more convenient. It can be connected to water source, so you do not have to manage that using the water containers like water jar. It also cooks items faster and in larger quantities. When you have some dice ready, there are two ways to use them. For items, weapons and armor, all you have to do is to have them in your inventory and just drop the desired die over it. You will get the painting window where you can choose color for each of the areas. On the right side you have the item preview where you can zoom in and rotate it. The bottom left is your color palette of all available dyes and above it you have the paintable regions. By clicking on the die you will select it and then you can click on each region to see how the color will look on them. To apply you can either double click on the region or use the apply paint button. With structures, dinos and players you need to use the paintbrush or a spray painter. To apply dye to the paintbrush you have to drag it over it and then you have to equip it. To use it on a structure, dino or other player you have to use attack and stand reasonably close. The left mouse button will open the painting interface. For structures it works the same way as with the items. You can change colors for different regions. For dinos and players however you can only use the free paint option. Here you draw onto the model in the right window. To paint on yourself you have to equip the paintbrush and use right mouse button. The controls for the free paint are quite simple. When you hold the control and left mouse button you can freely rotate the model so you can uh, check each side. To move the model up, down or to sides you have to use the right mouse button. And to zoom in you can use the scrolling wheel. Now to paint you do that with the left mouse and if you hold the shift you will paint a thicker line. The erase works the same. You do it with the uh, control and right mouse button and with a shift and right mouse button you erase a thicker line. The only structures that allow both the region painting and free paint are the flags, signs and the war map. This can be used for instance on PvP server to note enemy bases. You will have to experiment with different colors as some can be harder to see.
Also, there is a nice uh, save and load function, so when you spend your precious time painting your masterpiece and you do not want it destroyed and lost, use the save button to preserve it. This will also allow you to reproduce it effortlessly. When uh, loading the saved paint, you will also be able to see how much uh, of the dice will it uh, need. And that's all. Hope you've enjoyed this colorful video. Feel free to leave a comment or a like. Also click on the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on more arcs that I live of fun. Thank you for watching and see you next time.